Winchester is always a pretty solid team. You'll watch, they'll have a pretty good ball control throughout the game. There won't be a lot of uh, crazy kicks. They'll be passing to feet and look to control possession to the extent possible. Hey, uh, great. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Sean Golding here. I'm giving you a little play-by-play -play along with Frank Lavin. Like I said, we're a little bit late starting this game, so a little just over a minute in. Uh, Belmont and Maroon, Winchester and White. Going back to Frank's commentary, yeah, well, Winchester traditionally is a soccer powerhouse in our league. Um, always have great depth, always have great skill. And a true test for Belmont. Okay, Dana Lair making a nice job there recovering. Get up to Saryu, who's trying to get it off to Lena Marinell, who's attacking. Been here, been here some commentary from some of the girls. I guess one of the girls in the team knows one of the Winchester players, and they were watching film on Belmont. So, so it looks like the, they did a little bit of work <coughs> ahead of time going into this game. I have my opinions on how that they, we would, they would handle us. I'm kind of curious if they go in that direction. What do you think they're going to do? Well, I think everything is going to be key. In all. They're going to try to take Lena Marinell out of the game. I think you're going to find somebody constantly shadowing her, maybe even a second player taking her on, just to try to slow down that transition from defense through midfield. And then I, I think that's one of the things they'll look to do on the defensive end of thing. Other than that, I just think they're going to open up an attack, an attack with numbers and trust their two backs, which looks like they're doing that already. Looks like we got a, I think that's probably going to be, a, a, I agree with that assessment. I think they're also going to be hard on, uh, on Miss Sika and make it hard for her for the long runs and just pressure and keep the ball on the Belmont end to the extent possible. You're going to see their, I think, defense play up high, try and deny the, the long ball. Without a doubt, I think I think after a season of film of, on Danica, I think they'll. I think any, every team in the league knows how to play her. You know, they get you got to give her a little bit of space and probably keep two on her just to slow her down because she's quite good at beating the single. There's a nice through ball. Uh, goalie does a nice job coming off the line. I think it's starting today, Coach Jemmy has put in uh, Martha Demas uh, starting yeah. a goal. Yeah, she's a freshman. It's. Um, Great to see a freshman rise to this to this occasion. I mean, it's, it's it speaks a lot of her maturity and her confidence getting the start today. Happy for her. Again, there's that gap that's opening up uh, for Belmont, which is right about here on this field from about the 40 to about the 50. Uh, there's going to be a large gap, and you're going to see, I think, Winchester try and step in on that and recycle it back. Good hustle from Winchester to keep that ball in. Able to nice cross. cross. And there comes a shot. Oh, nice block out. Again, look at the numbers that Winchester oh, pushed to the back. Dangerous, <clears throat> dangerous place to to allow for a free kick right now. You know, I like the aggression, but you always got to be careful and get the hands out. That's always going to get called. Unfortunately, there's nothing subtle about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of hard to cover that one up yeah. right in front of the referee. <laughs> nothing subtle. Again, once the hands come out, it's a... Always going to be a call. So Winchester with a, a nice opportunity here early in the game. Free kick. Looks like they're lining up on the right massing. Well, this Belmont with a wall. This likely going on net. Oh, they decide to, decide to play it wide. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I, I'm <clears throat> it's an interesting choice there from that distance. I mean, you're, you're 20 yards away. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the wall. Four on the wall. Maybe made them a little nervous. Yeah, How maybe. good. Belmont playing it short. Either that, they're just trying to play a set play, and uh, didn't work mm. out. Oh, well, Glavin well. with the safe clear. Got to be careful in telegraphing those passes. It's all about breaking that first line when you're playing short, meaning that you want to not look for the immediate pass, but look for the second layer. I wouldn't expect anyone from Winchester is going to give any space to any Belmont player today. So the Belmont Demons. just has to be quick. Yeah. Quick transitions, quick play. Winchester quickly getting back on D. Dean is holding, and it looks like she's going to punt. Not quite six minutes into the into the first half here, and pretty much the entire game's been played in the uh, Belmont half, Belmont defensive half. Yeah. So you know, again, they're they're committing. Winchester's committing a lot of numbers and pressing that back line, and you know, looking for the mistake. 
Nice job from Kimberly getting it back to Taylor. Taylor, Taylor. keep going. There's go. Keep going. Nice through ball, but I gotta have a little bit more speed on that. But Zika manages to oh, grab perfect. it. Perfect. Nice little back check, as I would call that. And, and oh, oh. Marinell on top of that. Looking for Where's her help? Where's her help? That's her lap. Often, often like to see it take the easy pass on that and then try to put herself back to a return pass as opposed to trying to force it downfield. Well, if that's a good sign for the day, though, if they're not committing to really attack her and jump on her back or uh, get physical with her, they seem to, while there were a couple players playing with her, they gave her a little bit of space. Uh, but again, I think to your point, she's got to learn to make that quick, easy pass. Because, because the longer she holds on to that ball, the more hits she's going to take. Yep, just we'll the and back on D. Nice recovery, kept the player in front of her. No lunging, anything like that that actually could create a, a hazardous situation. There's another cross, though. And Some interesting bounces today. I'll tell you, it's a little blustery, so you got to watch that ball. I'd say we got about a 10-mile wind coming from uh, where we are, heading towards the high school. Uh, it's going to make for some, I think, some interesting kicks from the goalies. Demas again, heading it out towards Santos. Santos trying to play the body on that. Wasn't able to win the ball. Across to Kimberly. Kimberly, there's a quick little simple passes. There you go. Marinell, Marinell Marinell. Yeah, look, and there's the through ball. And the goalie's going to yep. jump right Small on top of that. Yep. You know, if that's there all day, though, that's going to be bode well for us. Yep. Uh, you know, Marinell able to take the ball in space at about the 30-yard line, and you're going to see people breaking on that. There's an offsides call, yeah, looks an offsides like. Offsides call, looks like one came back from the offsides <laughs> position to re receive the ball. That is an offsides call. Good call by the ref. Did you notice how quickly they, they transitioned out of the back, though? They had that one-two passes up the field. Yep. Yeah, looks like it's more of a north-south attack. Not a lot of east-west passing from Winchester right now. Looks like they've been straight dead attacking so far. Nice play by you here. And then Marinell. Again, the simple mm -hmm. pass, but no one in position to make the play. <clears throat> Good play by Sadie Taylor. Taylor coming up, making a great play again. Cabral. That's nice ball wide. Layer on her. A little Thank cross. A little overlap. Marinell comes back to to receive that again. Quick pass would be nice here, but again, just uses the body and just kind of shakes that defender off. Creates some space for herself. Exactly. That's quite kind. <coughs> Throw in Belmont. Drops off to Lair. And Zika. Nice throw, nice uh, reception by Zika. Again, north-south passing here from from Winchester, going straight down the just straight down the lines. Okay, here's here's an opportunity here. Oh, through there the Santos. Santos, Santos, Santos. With a break. We need Santos to cut this to net, but it looks like it's a little bit of a bounce took it wide on her, so she's got to collect and wait for some help. Again, Santos. Maintains possession, fights it still. She is trying to use her body. Taken it by Winters. Mm. Actually, I think uh, wanted that on her right foot. Didn't want to take it on the left. Actually, water starting uh, today. Yep, in, in place of Ramadas. Sadie Taylor back to collect the ball. It's a day like this, you love a love a ball boy or a ball girl to help you <laughs> chase that one down. <laughs> <coughs> she pretty much had to walk to Arlington to get that ball, so. Well, even when they were warming up, the ball is uh, getting blown around pretty far anytime it's out of bounds. Okay, Taylor with the throw. Looking for a little help. Hopefully we can, you know, look at Marinell. There's the throw in, the bounce up, up. The Santos, Santos needs a little help in front of the net. There's nobody at the goal. I'd like to see so you pinching see, see, here a little bit. Give it a rip. A Give shot. it a rip. And up and over. That's okay. Hey. It's a great shot by Zika. A little love high, but. Love to see that. Here's quickly you're watching Winchester transition. And play it short. Playing it short, and Winchester moves three players into position to receive a pass right there. They all three mm -hmm. ran in conjunction. Zika pressuring. There you Taken go. Taken out by Santos. Recovered by Winchester. And finally, the punt out. Taylor, nice. 
Oh, and up and over Plass. Now they get, they get some speed in that top line there. Oh, great, great play by Demas. That's a tough ball. That is. You know, it's, it's funny, you know, all you need is a little toe ball there. You don't need anything pretty. You yep. just, just got to just tip it past the goalie, and that's exactly what that player tried to do. And Demas was in great position and showed some great speed and instinct to get it. Well, hopefully Belmont has noticed 18 on Winchester. Looks like she's their uh, speed demon. Yep. She's going to be looking for breaks and over-the-top balls. Cabral stepping in front. Nice play. Let's see if they can get through here. No, no. Well played by Winchester. I think that's a key for the defense is they're going to need to step up and meet the ball uh, as it's being served in and not give too much space. Winchester's committing a lot of numbers, and if you let them toy around with the ball at the 20-yard line, they're going to find somebody breaking. Okay, Winchester throw deep in the Belmont end. Heading clear, but Winchester's first to it. A little miss hit by Winchester, Belmont throw. Some, some instruction coming from Coach Jemmy. I think she's trying to push Santos more towards the middle, give them a little, little few more options coming out of the back there. Quick, quick, quick turn over there, and now it's Winchester throw. Okay, actually, from the looks of this here, looks like they're playing with two. Three uh, deep? No, it actually looks like two strikers, but no, look, they move Zeke to the left side and Santos to the right side, or is Zeke moving to left, left to midfield, or are they actually playing with two strikers right now? Well, I think they're, they need to step up their offensive game and get a little bit more pressure in a sustained manner, so yeah. that uh, would make good sense. It's hard to win a 0-0 game. That's for sure. Taylor field clearance. It's going wide for Winchester. Taylor's pursuing. Turn corner from Winchester, yeah, mm -hmm. and they can see the corner kick. First of the game for Winchester. Okay, now that I'm looking at this here, it looks like Zeke is moving into the defensive zone, and they're going to keep Santos up top. So it looks like Zeke has moved to the outside midfield position. Trying to snuff up the short kick here. Well, I like it. Let's keep it moving. Uh, keep moving all of the offensive players around so they can't match up on a one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Keep them guessing. Yeah, maybe give Santos an opportunity to hold the ball and look and look for that quick transition from Zeke over so she can lay off a pass. Quick corner in. It's a nice play corner. Play it high. You've got to make sure you're sure. There. The there you go. There Perfect. you go. Dangerous ball for any goalie right there, especially in a windy day. Um, that was a, a powerful long corner into the back back post, uh, which is something to think about for the rest of the game. These aren't going to be short. Looks like Coach Jemmy's getting Ramadas. I have a quick sub in for Ramadas right now. Ramadas is coming quickly, I should say, on the sub side of things. 15 minutes in, he's making his first sub. OK, Belmont throw. You had a handball there, or was it a OB? I thought it was a throw. Uh, actually, it actually is a free kick. Okay, we'll take the free kick. Come on again. I don't love the gap between. It's a huge gap right there in between the, the defensive midfielders and the, and yep. the, and the full midfield. Which is just, just allowed Winchester to come back and actually take that ball quite easily and trans start, trans start their transition. But intercepted well by, by Belmont at midfield. Hmm. Right, pass, but once again, here comes Winchester. Ah. Nice. Dana Lair uh, doing a nice job on D there. Again, I don't mind the D again. getting. Need the goalie to come out for this, and there she is. Demis out there to get it. It's a nice play by Glavin. Anytime you have those type of bouncing balls, you want to make sure that nobody can get around you, stop the body, and, and let the ball through if you have to. Not a doubt. So you can come back. Okay, tight in the back. Nice job by Winchester. Interrupting that. Then back to Zika. One, two. Cuts to the middle. Just gonna have a right on her. Nice, nice play. Yeah, did not give her any time, any space to turn. Winchester player definitely knew that she was there. Yeah. Kind of made her presence known. And got her hand back to yeah, create a little, a little space. Bit of that. But all right, Winchester throw. Okay, 
Nice turn by Winchester there. It's a tough fall. Whoa. Oof. Got to be sure there. But man, she was she confident. Was. Yeah, she, she was. She sure, was my, sure. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, I mean, maybe it's a good play. You don't give up the corner with a with a, a, a fumble or a drop, but 100%. Maybe she didn't think she was going to catch it, but she knew exactly where she was. So you got to give her a ton of credit for presence. That's for sure. Play it short to Glavin. Quick pass yeah, out Ramanas. to Ramadas. Oh, oh, tough, tough first, first touch. touch. Yep, tough first touch, but that's touch okay. Board. First of the game, but she collects well. And hopefully, Taylor, there we go. Taylor to Kimberly up, went through. Winchester intercepting. Lair on Lair D. did a nice job pushing, slowing her down, pushing her wide. Forcing the cutback now. Now, now, Belmont cannot sit so deep. They need to start compressing right here. Don't give them that much space, especially with that kind of speed. Winchester receiving at the 18. Oh, a little lot of elbow activity there. Really creating some space for herself. Oh, that, an oh another, 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 another free kick. All thought, right, it's the second free kick we've given up. I thought that call could have gone the other way on 100%. Winchester uh, to start off with. So, but as I was, it's sometimes the second contact that. Creates a penalty, but okay. So looks like they have three-person wall again. Where Santos is, Santos should be covering that right post. And the, you know, it looks like okay. The, you got to get the defense out. You, exactly, defense needs to push up because otherwise you're keeping them in. Tough ball. Tough ball. There it is. There it is. Three shots. Actually, a couple nice defensive plays, but just not any clears outside the box. And Winchester stays aggressive all, all the way through. You see what they were doing there? They were actually hoping for a deflection on that. That's what yeah. they were. They weren't going right at goal. They were hoping for a deflection. They were hoping for something off a defender. Pounded Some, into the wall. And pounded into the wall. Even, even just pounded into the, to the traffic. And if you don't get a clear, you know, a, a quick clear out of that or a, you yeah. know, easy clear out of that, it's going to jumble around like that did there. And a little bit of pinball action. And, and now Belmont's down one nothing. Now it's... Right off the kickoff here, Marinell stepped back in a little bit different, a little, little deeper there to Kimberly. Marinell to come back oh. and she gets the push off there. Okay, now Belmont at this point in time needs to keep their composure. It's a little frustrating right there. A little you bit. Know, a little frustrated. So you can see they've gotten two calls go against them at the 18. Gotta just gotta watch their discipline here. Make sure they don't put themselves in a deeper hole. Aggressive composure. Up and over the line. Ramadas with a nice Ramadas header, nice back. play, right. nice play. And that's a little thing that, that makes a scary play unscary very quickly. Yeah, you, again, confidence coming from Ramadas at such a young age. A freshman feeding it to a freshman. You know, there you go. You know, it, it didn't seem like it didn't seem like Demas was at all worried either that someone was no. actually going to play it back with the head. So, great control by Ramadas. You know what I liked about Ramadas earlier was she uh, she had a bad first touch and, and lost it and she didn't give up. She went and got the ball back. Yeah, co co and collected it and great and great presence. First up, Winchester. And about 20 minutes in. There you go, Belmont, okay, throw. Belmont throw. Nice That's work on Zika there. You know, you know, despite the score, the one nothing sp score, it's been a pretty, you know, pretty even game so far. Not a lot of, not a ton of possession by both teams, but both teams are pretty aggressive actually moving the ball. Timeout called here. Do we okay. know who called this? Is <clears throat> it Winchester? Well, it might have been Winchester. Yeah. At this point in time, if you're coach Jimmy, what are you telling your team? Saying stay composed. Yeah, you know what? Option. They're actually not playing poorly. Uh, you know the 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 goal came off of and you know penalty from the 18 yards out. Uh, it was kind of a 50-50 penalty in my opinion. They lost uh, again. Uh, sometimes it's the person who falls down who gets the call, or independent of who calls it. Um, having said that, they got to continue to be second balls, aggressive, meet meet Winchester when they receive the ball. Don't give them space. And Winchester is going to be those. It's going to be that type of team that doesn't make a lot of mistakes, you know. So, you know, you're the game plan can play. Let's keep on. Let's hope they make a mistake. The game plan is just kind of keep on attacking. Let's do what we do best. Let's get this ball wide. Let's get the crosses across. Looks like Marinelle is getting a Band-Aid put on. She might have a little. Uh, might have been scratched or uh, fallen on the turf. 
Yeah, turf isn't kind, that's for sure. A lot of pep in Winchester's step coming out. Yep. See Feel, feeling good match. about themselves after that goal, for sure. Looks like no changes to line up post, post timeout. All right, Belmont throw after the timeout. 20 minutes left in the half. Belmont down 1-0. It's easy play. Quick clear to Santos. Wow. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Wow. My goodness. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that. Ah, that's a call from the other side of the field as well. <laughs> All right. This Maranel gets a call. Yeah, exactly. This could be encouraging. It is. Oh, Ooh, a it's dangerous a play right there. there. There it is. Okay. No, oh, there's an opportunity here for uh, Belmont to match. See if they can pull together. Uh, they got a penalty a little bit further out, about 22 yards. Now he's going to give it to him at the 21. Marino standing over it. <laughs> okay, so looks uh, Winchester coach is demanding a, a wall and stepping onto it. If I'm Marinell, I'm asking. Well, I'm hoping she takes a rip. I hope yeah, she takes. Put it here. on net on this one. 100 percent. See what you could do. Hope for a uh, hope for a rebound. Well, the football lines help get the set up the uh, distance. That's for sure. So they are ten years <laughs> back, ten yards back. Up, oh, play short. No, oh, playing it short, and unfortunately, nothing made it past the the penalty penalty, line, penalty area. So yeah, that's a missed opportunity right there. I would have liked to have seen her put something in a more dangerous position, or to have Ramadas uh, take an immediate immediate kick on that. Although Winchester covered her pretty tightly. I was just gonna say they collapsed on that quite quickly. They they knew something was up at that point in time. It seems they, that yeah. Ram Ramnus didn't have a lot of places to go with that ball to begin with, so they had to have felt that it was coming back to Marinell. Yep. I would have loved to see him take a shot, though. Yep, I agree completely. She's got the leg. She's got a great shooter. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kimberly here, freaking it out. Simple off the wow. no. That's all right. You know what? Again, the refs are... Uh Stop at somebody, gonna come talk to somebody. A little bit of a warning, it sounds like. 22, Winchester. Throw in Winchester, straight down the line. Quick one two turn. Place to the corner. Big numbers. All again. sides again, yep, over and back. Big numbers by Winchester dedicated to the attack. Yep. That was a great play on uh, Belmont's D. They kept the high line, they didn't fall back, and leads to an offsides. Glavin with an aggressive play right there, makes contact with the ball. And actually paid for it, it seems. So she gets up to recover. We'll need a little talk here, need to talk. Okay, good job. Amnes comes back, smiley to Taylor. Taylor, no, and Aaron Clare, back back off to Winchester. Marin here. Ooh, Marin there's the trip. a trip. There you go. Nothing malicious there. Just going for, uh, going for the ball and missed. Still a trip. A good call. Yeah, we need Marinell. We don't need her taking this kick. We need we need her to be moving upfield. Agreed. I don't know why she's taking the kick. Long ball. To Zeke. Zeke does first touch a little bit a little bit heavy. Taken away by Winchester. Oh, that's try to working use the hard. Body There's an over the top. Good layers defensively from Belmont here. Glavin does a nice job winning that with her head. Winchester is there just to kind of to clean up, though. Uh, Ramadas nice job, cycles back. A little, little back checking again from Ramadas. Comes in and intercepts that opportunity. Makes a safe play. Take it out of bounds. Winchester throw. Throwing glab in there to clear. Quick clear. Mm. It's got to get over. We got, they got to step into this one There's here. There's a rip. Yep. There's a rip. Nice play by Winchester. Yep. Uh, nice shot. A little bit high, but. Okay, here comes, here comes some subs. Got Lucy Hines coming in. Nora Golding. And uh, who's coming in on the other side? 
Coming in for Sarah Yu. Oh, looks, that looks like it's Lily Hosepian's coming Lily in Hosepian's. at that top. She's yep. going to play the single striker. Yep. Anna Santos is moving into right midfield. Goulding left midfield. And I like this play. You know, uh, two games ago, it seemed that a lot of the, the Belmont strikers were just, quite frankly, exhausted at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And just giving them a little break right now. Change of pace. And this is really reloading uh, more than anything else. These are some solid players coming in. Yep, the depth, once again, at midfield is helpful. It's helpful. It gives an opportunity to rest some players. I mean, you, you ask a lot of your midfield. You, you, you're, when you're playing midfield, you're, you're playing from the top, going from penalty area to penalty area. Yeah. You're expected to run 80 out into the field all the time. So you're, you're supposed to help in defense, and you're supposed to get, get, get back on the offense and quickly help in transition. So you, you need depth there if you want to be effective. Let's go kick out from Belmont. Quick, again, Winchester's first to it. They seem to be first yeah. to a lot of these balls. Again, I'd, I'd li I like playing short out of the back. I don't like the, you know, when, you, when you're taking goal kicks and you're kicking it to the, it's just a 50-50 ball. And, you know, honestly, I don't think that's a real strength that Belmont has right now in, in attacking those balls coming in. It's a nice stop by Glavin there. Glavin to Goulding. Goulding looking for help. Makes a nice little cut in. Good job at Winchester. With the body there. Moving quick over the top. Looks like Glavin's here again. Nice play by Clevin. 100% up. Oh, that's two feet. That's a two foot tackle there. That's actually a, a dangerous play. I'm not called right in front of the ref to Golding. Golding looking for help. To Ramanas in the middle. Two players in the back. Plays it back to Glavin. Up the. That's over. That's a beautiful. To have Sepian. Sepian, can we get the first touch there? Which is doing a nice job protecting their space and able to kind of bring in every single ball. <clears throat> Belmont's first touches have been quite heavy. You know, and I don't know if it's the nerves kind of getting to him or what, but this has been quite heavy, the first touches for some of the players. Yeah. There's Lucy Hines working hard. Oop. Good to see her out there. Yeah, it is. Coach Jimmy seems to be slowly working <coughs> her back into the mix. Well, I hope they go nice and slow. Yeah. Build her up, get her strong. Yeah, and then, it's a long uh, season. She's going to be, right, very long season, a lot of games, and she's going to be able to I think, play a really important role a on this of, team. It's a lot of games this week. There's three games There's, intercepted by Golden Gold. Oh. oh, nice idea, but... Looking for a give and go on that. Yeah, well, she didn't really. She was <laughs> she was collapsing on that ball. She had, she had two defenders right in front of her, so she really didn't have a play to kind of play it through. I think well, she was trying to, to feed it, it into Marinell and then have Marinell launch it over the top. Yeah, to the, give it to give and go. Yeah, yeah no, there's a right idea. All right, Belmont kick. <clears throat> again, Winchester, again. Winchester with some subs. Winchester showing some great team speed there, getting getting to the first, getting there first, you know, anticipating where the ball's going. Um, again, it's movement without the ball. Yeah, uh, makes all the difference there. in soccer. Glavin had nobody there. Oh, she got. Oh, she had Golding. I didn't see her. Yeah, it's kind of a little little camouflage over there with that bench, you know. Yeah. Look at that Just switch, on, field switch, switch field. Ooh, nice on play. sides. Can't oh, she keeps it in? And I'd like to see we got to close that down. And Heinz is a nice Heinz job. Heinz a nice play. Osepian. Osepian. See if Osepian can hold this up and get a little bit of help. Get uh, oh, there it is. Nope. Three players around her and yep. Yeah, she just couldn't couldn't seem to dig it out and make the simple pass out. Yeah, a little crowd over there. Oh, well, some Winchester throw. They're moving quick, and they got wide open players. But there's Lucy Hines, the nice, oh, nice Osepian ball. again. Osepian, can she send it over? Oh. Got to be a little crisper on that pass. Marinella space to Ramadas. Goulding's running away, expecting the long ball. And it looks like she's going to slow that Taylor, down. Taylor, take it. Hope she takes it up. To Goulding, who tips it wide, who tips it high. Trying to stay with it. You know, there's always a, you know, I think Sadie, oh. Sadie Taylor had more, uh, yeah. Yep. Had more space there to take it up a little bit, but I think as, as a defender, you're always worried about getting too far upfield and not being able to get back. Well, what's hard about this is when you're when you're playing that high line where you're trying to attack out of the midfield, and some you know, Taylor, like Taylor right there was trying to bring it up. You start to hold your run, yep. you hesitate, and then sometimes you're never in position as a result of that because it's, you know you don't know if that player is going to pass or if that player is going to touch it one more time. I think that's the difficult part about playing this way. 
So, you know, he was Goulding thinking all along it's going to be an up and over, but then eventually had to stop that yep. and then come back to receive a pass just to help her out. So right, when it's all said and done, I think Coach Jemmy would like to see quicker passes and quicker movements with, with purpose and one-two pass over the top as opposed to dribble, 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 Agreed. pass over the top. Keep the ball moving. 100%. All times. To the middle, there's Golding, Golding with a header. A header up. Try to keep it in. Oh, you got it. Yeah. We got to be going to get that. Nobody around that nobody, ball. Nobody seems to want the headers. Lair just kind of keeps it, launches it back in. Let's see if we can push. Let's get a little Ooh, bit. Oh, it's not up and down. No. Okay. There it is. It's a cross. That's a tough ball. That's a tough ball. And it looks like it's uh, a corner for Belmont. All right. Golding forced the corner. Yeah, she really didn't have a play on that ball. If she even touched that ball, it was going to go out of bounds on Belmont. So she held off and actually forced the Winchester player to make a play there. I like that aggression. You never yeah. know what's going to happen down there. You just yeah. got to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Okay, this is. Let's All right, see. we got Glavin in the box in front of the goalie, getting pushed. Okay, so we've got everybody deep. Got Larinol, uh, Marinol up top. Well, it looks like the refs talking to uh, players in the box, make sure that they're behaving themselves. Belmont's heavy in the back post. Oh, so nice, the nice cross right around the penalty spot. Looks like Winchester's a difficulty clearing the ball. Santos is forcing the play. And right back into the middle to Marinell. Does a nice job settling it. Now needs a little bit of help. Okay, so here's what, we need. here's what we need to be quicker. Ramadas to Taylor, Taylor. Intercepted by Winchester Goulding, trying to collect back. Forces an errant pass to Taylor. Another errant pass back to Glavin. Glavin over up the over top. the top. No, nice header by Winchester. Need another, another three yards on that one. <clears throat> okay, it's, you know. There's run yep. through the ball. There's and that's it. Belmont's, you know. Is that showing, Osepian? Yeah, it's Osepian. Belmont wants to um, no, goes good. against Osepian. That's okay. <clears throat> you know, if, if you're Coach Jimmy, you want to see that. You want to see take you, a, you want to see a contentious fight for the ball. You want to see, you're not going to give him the ball. You're going to fight for it. You know, it's a safe place to take a free kick. 100%. Deep, deep in their end. 100%. Gives our defense a chance to line up and prep for this. And okay. Belmont throw. Belmont throw. Looks like Sadie Taylor's coming out. We have, it's coming in 17. And looks like Lena Marinell's gonna take a break here with uh, just over eight minutes left in the first half. Giving Marinell an extended break maybe into halftime. Sepian, nice turn. Ramanas snuffs it out. Over nice to Goulding. Ball, Goulding, Goulding first. Goulding. Nice first nice touch. Move. They get a little bit of health. All right, here we go to Ashley Winter. Ashley into. Oh. Ashley Waters again. Waters. Right place. But again. Winchester aggressively going after the ball. Ramadas takes it out of a pack. Dana Lair back on D, recycles it back to Lucy Cabralton. Nice play by... Interesting that she decided to play with that with her feet. <coughs> yep. That was off of Winchester player, correct? It was, I thought. Okay. Uh, a little, um, actually called poor Ashley Waters. Ashley Winters one time here. I, forgive me there, so it is Ashley Waters. <laughs> know where that came from? That was a dangerous play. Uh, and we got, I think, a little bit lucky that we're getting away with a corner kick on this. Let's hope we can yep. keep it out and recover. Uh, you know, I would have liked to have seen that cycle back to the goalie right away rather than to nice punch out, nice punch over. They'll do it again. Yeah, she was sure of that right there. That's the thing to do. <clears> you don't think you're going to catch it, especially if it's coming back towards the goal. Yeah. You're in a tough spot there. You don't have a lot of room to move. you got to just punch it away. Because you can catch it and fall into the net. Yep. A lot of things can happen there. So you just got to be sure. Okay. Just for another corner here on the other side. Ramadas in the middle. We got two. 
It's another long back corner. And it looks a little push to the back. Yep, 100% push to the back there against Winchester. You can still see what they're doing. They're looking for the far coast and they're, they're setting up for headers. So Beaumont's got to be on top of that. Yeah. Watching those runs in and beating them to the ball. Just over six minutes left in the first half. Cool kick out. Kick. And Winchester first to it again. Lear gets to it. Nice yeah, play by Ashley Waters. Let's see who's here to, let's see who's, who's here to help Goulding. Nora, get tough, another tough first touch. Yeah. A little heavy. Um, Quicker but, decisions. Either. Uh, I think she's looked up quickly and was looking for a little bit of help. So Lucy Hines on D. Quick ball in. Collected by Demas. Yeah. <clears throat> I love Lucy Hines in this role. She's a great sideline to sideline defender. She can transition well. She has the opportunity to, or the ability to, to, to find those through balls and passes up. Okay, better touch from Goulding there. All the way to Sepian nice off the left. Off Sepian. Now, now, now Lucy's gonna need some help. She's gonna pipe it into her right foot. She does, collects it in. Cross. Someone's gonna get to that. Oof. Come on, Balmont, we gotta be rushing towards that. Yep. Again, forcing, forcing the play out. Bel Belmont is not in a position not to force. They, yep. they, at this point in time, they need to look for every opportunity. They have to contest every ball. They can't give up on everything. So, Waters with the throw and the Goulding. It's a quick step over the ball. Winchester collects. Winchester takes it out of the back. Lots of space there. Nice turnover there. No whistle, keep playing, guys. Exactly, play the whistle. And yep. You know, Winchester's working hard for the second balls, the contested balls. And Winchester, well, Belmont's playing down the line. Is throw in Belmont, is it? it Might have been out no, on, uh, on, on Belmont. Yeah, it's out on Santos. Long throw, Winchester collecting it. Layers run on top of her. Okay, roll it there. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay, a little bit, a little bit too much watching that ball again. Got to get first to it. I'm, I know that's going to be one thing Coach Jimmy's is going to be talking about at halftime. We have to be first to the ball. Winchester was winning every, every ball. It seems that kind of pops out in the back. Again, once again. And what, what, what makes this so hard is because you can't get a clean, simple clear out. It keeps the ball in the end, and it just wears down your defense. Nice yeah, well, right. you know, That's a good play there. You, you, know, you give up the corner every time on that with about just over three minutes left in the first half. When, it's, when, it, when, you're, at a con, when you're at a constant state of defending where the ball can't seem to get past, like, to say, the 30-yard line, you clear yep. it out or it gets collected and won again, it comes right back in again, right back in again. Eventually you're gonna be caught out of position. You're gonna be flat-footed and tired. So another long ball in and there's the header. There's the header just They're working wide. that, uh, yeah. they practice that. That's clearly where they're going. Just wide. They've got, well, they've got some tall players uh, and obviously they've worked on their headers a lot. Oh. Okay, that was a quick, quick, quick toe pass there and, and uh, unfortunately Belmont didn't seem ready for that. And Winchester was quick, quick on top of it, and here they are playing, and it looks like Belmont just wanted to throw in over there. Considering what just happened there, they actually it's recovered the, quite well. The best possible outcome? Yeah. Huge space here. Let's see, look, look, how, the, look how the midfield, everyone, everything is compressed right now. There you go. So if you're gonna clear, you better clear it deep. Uh, K-Roll's going to take another long ball. Again, these are, we're not winning these 50-50 balls. But, um, but what it is doing is it's forcing Winchester back. You're playing the ball short. If you, you know, they were compressing when they were playing the ball short, waiting for that mistake, waiting for that interception. Plays ball on town field. Through to Hosepian. Doesn't, oh, lost sight of the ball there. Again, Hosepian. There's yeah, Nora Goulding. Can she get to the it? Break. She get She's to it? She got it. it She's got it. She's got it. Down into the corner. And 
No. I would like to, would like to have seen her try to win a corner there. Yep. Okay, we're in, we're in uh, referee time right now. It's two minutes left showing the clock. Referee is now the official timekeeper. Actually, their official timekeeper the entire game. But, <laughs> but right now, it's we have no idea where this, how much time is left in the first half. So. And why do they do that? For the people watching at home. Yeah, they do that because they want to allow for maybe what we what we know is injury time. You know, try to account for all the times the ball goes out of bounds and rolls away like it is right now. Maybe an injury and so forth. There really hasn't been a lot of time delays this game, so I don't expect it to run more than maybe a minute over. Right. Okay. Okay, someone's going to want to keep our Golding. Golding wins that. It. Can she, she keep it? And she's trying Could to keep, keep it. Keep going. Pops free. And Winchester collects it. Santos pressuring heavily. Force. No, no. Winchester. Oh, it, oh, it did go out of bounds there. There's the ball. Got to move quickly here, Belmont. We don't okay. have a lot of time in this half. Lucy Hines still there. Kicks it ripping over. Looking for um, Sepian. Sepian. The Santos. I'd just like to see a keep shot going, here. Keep going. Keep going. Here comes here. a shot. Okay. Uh, side off the okay. side okay. I'd like to see a shot there. That's... There it is, the halftime whistle. Okay. So at the end of the first half, it's one nothing Winchester. And the goal came off of a half of a free kick. Kind of a little pinball action in front of the goal. And just one thing that um, Belmont, you know, look back at that and say, hey, listen, that's something that we could have easily snuffed out and, and yeah. you know, kind of, you know, that we kind of gave that one away here. I think Belmont's playing a, an excellent game. They just can't afford to give up any mistakes right down in the, in the 15, 20 yard mark. Um, it's just dangerous. You know, this is an excellent team and no mistakes. Yep. Yeah, well, as we know, Winchester's not going to give you anything. So. So if, if, if Belmont wants to win, win this game, they have to start taking things. So we're going to have to start winning balls at midfield. They're going to have to start being quicker off the ball, quicker passing, and start taking command of this game. So they need to take, you know, to stop giving it off. Because like I said, Winchester will, will munch on this all day long. Score is 1-0. Uh, Winchester 1, Belmont 0. Right, Ashley Waters coming out starting on the right side, or left D. Rhett's the one change. I see Ramada starting in the middle. Other than that, no major changes. Sarah, you back in the game. Let's see if any changes here. Any other changes to formation? No, it looks like, looks like the formations remain the same. Single striker. Three attacking midfielders, two defensive midfielders, and four backs. Quick play to to Kimberly. Kimberly up. Yep. There, uh, there you go. They're just going to sit back and. Actually, looking at it now, Hovsepian is in for Zika. So Hovsepian now pressuring. Where's Zika playing? Zika's actually, no, she's not out. She's taking a break. Taking a break. Okay, good. Okay, Santos up. Oh, runs it. Blocked by Ashley Waters. Again, Santos to it. To Ramadas. Back to Waters. Holds it, holds it. Again, Ramadas is there for her. And that's it to Santos. Santos, a little bit of a bump there. Down, I'm okay nope, with that. Throw. I like yep. that quick transition. You get a ball, you make a pass. Throw in Winchester. Santos forcing it. Water's using the body, and ball is out of bounds. Okay, Ashley Waters with the throw. Let's see if anybody's moving to help her out. Lena Marinell is, but it doesn't get over the top. Again, Winchester has some good height. Mm -hmm. All right, another turn, quick turn. Oh, what is the call? Oh, no. yeah. Interesting that he call, made that call there. You know, she was breaking away at the ball. He, he could have let it go on for another 10, 15 yards to see what she did with it, and he could have, always could have called it back. Play the advantage. Yeah, he played the advantage there, and he didn't. He chose not to. So that's it. I'd rather, I'd rather see Marinell moving All into right, a position where she can, she can help out here as opposed to taking the kick. Yep. 
Brown, nice ball there downfield. Hosepian. Run through that. Kimberly. Ramadas blocks it. Ramadas again. Looking for some help. Compose, Looking for some help. They patient. have back, back to Waters. Waters to Santos. Okay, a little step over. To Osepian. Osepian. Give me a cross. To Marinell. Marinell. You know, we keep trying to look feed, like a handball there. feed Marinell even when she's not open. Right. Uh, there are other players that we can we can look to, to chip to. This is the things where even from back in that corner there, as opposed to looking for that pass, how about looking for a shot? Or a cross, or get yeah. in front of the net. Marinell. Okay, you got an easy pass. An easy pass, and just no, has to play wide of Lair. That was a great play, though. Okay, Lair. Quick, quick, quick. And a little bit too much. Again, I like that thinking, though. Uh, Throw in Winchester. Around the 20-yard line. Looks like Coach Jemmy encouraging the team to, to get, oh, there's the push, bit. but Another. no call. Yeah, the physicality is there. Plays the ball wide, looks like it's gonna roll right out of bounds. Belmont throw. Down looks like we Santos. have some ball girls here finally. Yeah. A lot of bounce, Santos collects it, throw in Waters. Let's get some numbers in for this throw. Okay, on the back. Nice. Marinell to try to quick turn to Kimberly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? This is a little better from, from Belmont. You know, a little bit more, a little more quickness, a little more commitment to getting the ball. You know, it's, it's not falling their way all the time, but at least they're getting to it. Yeah. You're not getting beaten to the balls, and it's actually forcing Winchester to make some make some mistakes and turn the ball over themselves. It's all about the quick pass. Get the ball, find the person, move the ball, keep the ball moving. When we're static, when we're holding, when we're waiting, that's when it's easy to defend, they have numbers, and it's a turnover. Free kick, Winchester. Santos, you know. Ref on the far side of the field yeah. made that call. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's you have, a, you have one player leaning back into one player, another player leaning forward. Well, and half that happens 20 times a game is not called, so. Yeah. It's an interesting, you know. From the far side ref. It's a good ball in the middle. Head, headed into middle and collected by Demas. You know, there, there is there is a theory. I mean, in, in when you're when you're trying to defend the ball and you're trying to hold the ball, you, you do lean in back into the defender to give yourself additional space and to keep that defender back. So for every person pushing in, there's often a really good player pushing back. So it's not like, you know, Santos was actually just pushing, pushing, pushing. No, she was actually being leaned into by the Winchester player. So referees should be seeing that and they should be letting that kind of stuff go. Not be calling the push. And yeah. Again, I think that was a, a, a play that happens 50 times a game. Yeah, it doesn't get called. It doesn't get called. Right. Uh, Meanwhile, with just a little, nice little attack there. Belmont earns a throw in. Santos. Again. Again, numbers for Winchester, getting a turnover, and then a... Uh, Quick one, too. Lair clears to Marinell. Marinell. And there's a... Oh, I thought that was a handball. Marinell, but nice job on the body there, it, trying to play it through to you. Let's see again, heavy first touch from Winchester. You don't see a lot of that, so... There's an an opportunity there. One twos from, from Winchester. Looks like it's going to go to a throw-in. Nice play by Dana Lair. Little shield, looks yeah. easy. Quick, look, quick in by Belmont to Kimberly. Ball bounces away. Up and over. Looks like he's a dangerous know, ball. It's a dangerous right ball. There. It's going. Thank God it's going a little bit wide. Nice cross off the post. Off the post. Must save again. No, and ball. there it is. Okay, I mean, I would say this wasn't a player. It wasn't a person in the stands that thought that cross was actually going to hit the crossbar. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. Agreed. Um, ball hits the crossbar, pops out right to a Winchester player. Who shoots? Saved by Demas. Nice job by Demas trying to collect it. Ball once again falls to a Winchester player, and they were able to put it away. Unbelievable first or second or save by Demas yeah. uh, to keep that out of the net on the first one. But again, Winchester committed the numbers there, overwhelmed the defense, and yeah. there for an easy rebound. That's two rebounds. Uh, just bounced Winchester's way and lead to goals. But again, they're committing numbers to offense. 
without a doubt. And you know, here I am saying how fortunate they were the ball was going wide. You know, it wasn't <laughs> looking more to the more towards the goal. And now uh, Winchester back at it again, attacking heavily. Lair's doing a nice job defending there. And that's just yeah, throw in Winchester. Throw. And here they am thinking, okay, that's good. That's a good thing. This ball went wide, but the fact that that cross hit the hit the top of the crossbar and kind of kept in bounds. You know, it was, it was quite it was quite a fortunate bounce there for Winchester. Throw Winchester on oh, nice turn from them. That big cross. And the header. header. Demas. Demas comes the out punch with the punch. Out. There again, you go. With numbers in front of her. Yep, that's it. Handball going outward. All right. Again, I'm, I'm sure we would have. I'm not sure if we had an advantage on that. But. Yep. Um, Probably the kick. Referee slowing things down. Downfield it goes. It's a, bounces right to Marinell. Okay, Winchester's quickly there to defend. Looks like they were able to clear it out of bounds. All right, Belmont throw. All right, we got some okay. subs. Some subs. Zika okay. and Hines in for Sepin and you. Belmont to Marinell. Let's see a shot. There you go. Nice Beautiful save. Beautiful save by nice the save of Winchester. Winchester goalie. Great shot, though. Yeah, like I said, great this, shot. That's, we need to see more from Belmont as far as shooting from distance. Yep. Uh, you know, because the, the opportunities definitely aren't coming. Yep. So if, if, you, if you're not taking shots, you're definitely not going to keep Winchester honest. Speed of the game, tempo of the game is picked up dramatically again. Beautiful switch by Winchester, a little long. That was a great shot by by Lena Marinell. Yeah, well handled by the Winchester goalie. Yeah, but tough. I mean, yeah. They forced her to make a great play, and uh, unfortunately she made it, but still, great shot, great save. Take that all day. For sure. Throwing Belmont, Ramadas has it back. Clavin. Clears downfield. Winchester able to keep it in. Waters. Clavin, up, oh, turn, turned over to, Win to Winchester. Again, another, another quick call here. It looks like it's going to be a free kick Winchester, if I had to guess. Many hands in the back to some, or something mm. like it. I didn't see it. I'm not sure who made that call, but... Look like hands in the back. Yeah. And I think that kick is a little bit further away. Yep, it is. Okay. I think it's close to the sideline, but oh well. A dangerous place. Okay. Nobody is covering 17. Now you... I, I'm not loving how deep the Belmont defense is here. I would like to see them. Look Glavin at the wall. Look how far away the wall is. I would like to see them coming out a little bit deeper here. That's it. Glavin's going to take away 13. It's a shot on net. Up and over. Okay. Now for a goal kick. Another goal kick. Winchester to Lair. Again, right on her. Three players surrounding her. Winchester comes up with it again. That's just overloaded. There's center and cross. That's it. Demis. Demis in right position there. Yep. Quick, 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 quick to gather that ball in. Yep. Again, deflections, deflections, deflections. They have no problem just putting it into this, putting into crowds there. Looking for a tough bounce. And they seem they seem to be following their way in there. Nice job by Santos collecting that ball down the wing. Just keeps it in. Just keeps and it in. And now it's up. All right. Belmont. All right. Belmont the throw. Throw. Nice work by okay, water's, Santos. Water's up quick to take it into Marinell. Marinell's again. again using her body quite well. Here she goes. Yep. And nice job to Winchester to Hines. Nice move nice. by Lucy Hines. Let's get a little. Okay. Over, over to Santos. Santos collects. Moves the ball into space. Nice little cross. cross but but no nobody there. there. Nobody there. But still, I'll take that. You know yep. what? Yep. Towards the goal. Lavin with nice a nice header to Hines. to Hines. Quick flick, collected by Winchester. Ramadas tries to intercept. Back to back to Glavin. Just enough there to create a mm. mistake. Glavin again with the clear. It's a pop okay. fly. Again, a couple of headers. Always good to see. 
quick step over. Waters defending, and there's an offside. Sun's starting to play a factor here. And it looks like it's blinding some of the defenders. Nope. All right. Off the Winchester player. They keep it in. And looks like it's played out by Waters just to slow them down. Okay, so referee's in instructing the Winchester team to back off the line. Got to admit, this is a little close there. You know, here you are. Yeah. You know, you're playing, playing the orange line and you're right on top of it. Throw in Winchester over the top head. Okay, not giving it up. Not to, Z to Zico, who'd probably like to see a little bit more of the ball. Oh, there's, there we go. And that's actually, you know, that's a, you know, when you're a coach, you say, okay, you just slowed her down. Yep. You know, a lot of coaches will say, okay, we'll take that, we'll take that foul. But um, I was just saying how Zika probably like to see a little bit more of the ball, you know? And um, I'd like to see Ramadas with the ball a little bit more, a little more Zika. Played in. Zika, Zika came with a little, little bit of a pump in there. Oh, not talking. And goes in between two Belmont defenders. Glavin back on D. Well, look There's at the overlap in number three here from Winchester coming down. Yep. Yep. That's the hard part about being a midfielder in this thing. You have to watch that overlap because that's your person. That, that girl just made a nice 40-yard, 50-yard run. You know, obviously you didn't see the ball, but still. You, playing you, it you, short to Glavin. You have to be aware that, that that's Back coming. Up. Into Ramadas, out to Waters. Waters trying to play it forward to Santos and plays out of bounds. It's like Farrah Harris looks like is going to be making the coming into the game. Okay, going in here. Farah coming is coming in for Dana Lair. Dana Lair, give her a quick breath. Okay, about 26 minutes left in this in the game right now in the second second half. Two nothing Winchester over Belmont. Okay, Marinelle playing. Playing it through near Cozy. There we go, Zico okay, there with some space. Moving up the sideline. Okay, she's got, she got good pursuit from the Winchester defense. Then number three here was just made the big run in. And just Winchester had two players there. One one taken from behind, one was in front. And um, Nice D, but Belmont with the throw in, deep, deep in the, the corner. Area. So you get a nice job bouncing off that first that first attempt there. She is enough know, to slow her down though. Not the, the biggest body out there, but she does an excellent job in, in protecting herself from bigger, stronger players and creating space for herself. I'd like to see some movement here from Belmont, a lot of standing. Uh, she, she, has, she, takes no, she takes no issue with taking her, even initiating contact. No. Nope. She, she will go in there herself and just, just say, okay, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, that, that ball's mine too, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna beat you up for it, so. Yeah. It makes her a good player. Again, breaks that first line of defense, see that? Okay, quick transition here. That's through here. Ashley Waters, Glavin has to sprint out and cover in the okay, corner. Okay, two, two players wide open for Winchester in the front. That's okay, over the and end. Harris Goal comes kick. back. Okay, got a little lucky there. Okay, Goulding coming in. Goulding coming in for Hosepian. Okay, Goulding actually moving to the right midfield position while Zeke is moving to the sole striker position. Nice job by Hofsepian. Okay, Goulding tying. No, it's, it's actually Harris tying. Harris yep. tying her shoe. To Harris. Okay, good defending by Harris there. 18's aggressive and quick, like three here. Need to get Farris goal side. And there we go. Winchester comes out with the ball in the corner, and they score themselves a yeah, corner okay. kick off of Hines. Belmont needs to be careful there. They're off that throw, they they 
they committed three or four bodies into the corner on one or two players. Yep. You know, off the throw, those players moving off that throw into, into if that ball ever sprang loose, there was two or three Winchester players at the top of the 18 that were wide open look, looking for the ball. All right, let's see. Arlington uh, or Winchester here is going to historically has been playing the long for the far corner and looking for headers on the way in. Looks like they're set up to do that again. Nope, it's a short. Out comes Ramadas to defend. Cross the middle of the field. Nice, nice job. play by Ramadas. Winchester collects it. There's nice job by Marinelle. <coughs> now no. she's got to look for an opportunity here. Oh. Missed an opportunity, I think, there a little bit. She had a little bit more time and space, but yeah, she also still a nice breakout. She also had a golding on the left hand side. She could have just laid across the middle and just bought a little time for herself. There's Glavin chipping over the top. Okay, we need a little pressure here. We need a little pressure. Let's come on. Let's create some mistakes in their own end. Winchester puts it out, throw in Belmont, Glavin with the throw. Nope, Waters is gonna take it. Again, Ramadas with some space, man on though. Waters tries to clear, blocked by Winchester, they keep possession. Quick one-two pass. Cleared by Belmont. Gould needs to get back to, to get that number three there in the far left. He needs mm. to collect, get back to collect, okay. Belmont throw. Let's see if we can get a quick transition here. Waters the throw into Marinelle. Marinelle crosses Golden. it. Golding needs Golding. to first, nope. Now you go. Hines, so if Golding can run through this, no hesitation. Chip it, chip it. See if she can get it forward. Winchester does a nice job on that, clearing it out. A little bit of an opportunity there. A little opportunity, kind of had an opportunity, lost the opportunity, tried to get it back. And uh, again, initiating the, the body quickly, Winchester. So in a rugby, they call that a hospital pass. <laughs> you telegraph the pass, and the defender is has somebody sprinting on. Golding with an opportunity. Ooh, a little bit of a push off there. She's back on sides, fighting for it. Keep going, play the ball. Oh, that's... That's a tough call right there, but doing everything she could, keeping her hands up. Ref saw it differently. Jester plays it in. Lucy Hines, Hines the nice oh. header. That just found its way through. Zico is waiting. To Marinelle, cleared by Winchester. To Ramadas. Oh, a little push to the back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got to say, there's still some hesitation appears from the from the from the Belmont attackers. They seem to be hesitating a little bit, They're almost anticipating that Winchester got to get the ball first. Oh, you know? talking to from the ref to a Winchester player about being a little careful on the back, and the elbow up. You know, I love when refs do that. I think that's a great opportunity for the kids to recognize it's been noted and warned and explain why the ref was upset. Just at the 20-minute mark right now, remaining in the game. Show play. Again, Winchester beats Belmont to the ball. One, two through the middle. Playing it through <coughs> right to Demas. Again, nice transition, quick. Didn't work out. Belmont, good D, high line. Demas able to make an easy play. Again, not a lot of side-to-side -side movement from Winchester. It's all straight down the line. They're, they're moving in one direction, one direction only. Straight. Tough, tough throw in the handle. Yeah. Throw in Winchester. Ooh. All right, Belmont throw. Okay, Harris, tough. Yeah. Played out of bounds by Some Lucy subs Hines. For Winchester. Mm 
Looks like Winchester's going more and more to the bench now. Bring some players in, fresh legs. Good defending okay, Hines. Hines downfield to Zika. Zika to hold. Doesn't. Again, two players around the ball. Zika works hard though. Came back, fought for that, made a nice play. Nice quick throw by Winchester. Shot from Winchester, well collected in by Hans. By Demis, Demis, by Demis nice excuse me. She's done a nice job today. She has. She has done a nice job. The positioning has been excellent. Yeah. Nice move down the field to Santos. Again, that breeze blowing out in that direction takes it out of bounds. Okay, out of bounds. Oh, need to see a little bit of urgency here from Belmont. Need to see a little more possession. Need to see a quicker play. Doesn't it? the lack of possession right now is, you know, Winchester's doing a good job dictating things, keeping the possession away from Belmont. And there's a nice little turnover here. Zika playing it wide to Goulding and it was intercepted by Winchester. Again, Zika once again comes back to collect to Harris. Yeah. Harris takes it back to Cabral. Careful here. Oh. Quickly little turned little over. Turnover. Try to switch the attack. Waters is snuffing out there. Back in the midfield. Oh, pushing a bounce here. All right. It goes, it goes Marinell, player on her back. Finally delivers to Goulding. Goulding looking for an opportunity to cross here. There it is back. One, two. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shot wide. Okay, you know. <clears throat> Pot of people would have liked to have seen Goulding take that deeper to the then then cross it back to the penalty spot or so. But you yeah. know, she was waiting for someone to move and it looks like it wasn't getting a lot of movement. So she held and held and held. So I'd like to see that's where you want to see an overlap uh, from somebody sprinting 100%. up from the defense, sprinting 100%. towards the line uh, to create a mismatch on D. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there, uh, centers it back, and you end up with you know 25 yard pass or a shot. Belmont's finest. Serenading the team. Glavin taking the ball out. She's got some space. Mm. Uh, just couldn't keep it in bounds. Glavin again with a header. Okay. Big space there. Look again, once again, there's a huge space there in the middle. It's kind of hard oh. to it's kind of hard to clear the ball into <coughs> space when it's just gonna constantly come right back in again. So Bel yeah. Belmont needs to find a way to fill in that space in order to help the help the backs transition out. It's a continual so a couple games now, that space continues to be there and it's owned by the other team. And anytime you're seeding 20 yards of, of the field to the other team, it's going to be hard for the. Crossed in by Glavin. Just yeah. deflected by, by Glavin. Ramadas, woof. That, is a, that is a tough, tough, tough tackle there. Good call by the ref. Yep. Downfield, Smith Santos. Santos, nice takedown. Looking for some help. Up and over to Golding. Golding chips it on. Give her head. Okay, Golding off to Marinell. Marinell looks. Look at Hines. Trying to play it through. There Does it a is. great job. Of Santos. Golding needs to move to the net. Give it a rip. Okay. Oh. Okay. You had one player moving towards the goal. You needed a second player moving towards the back post. So still progress shot. A little bit wide, uh, but some pressure. Ramadas out. Golding out. And comes off Sepian. Okay. Winchester long kick. Receives the ball. Just under 15 minutes left. Nice. Belmont throw at the 25 yard line, 15 yard line. Throw to 
Bears. Another Belmont throw. Back again to Waters to throw. Sarah Hughes lets it through. Hines with a nice defensive play, getting it out to the side. Back to Glavin. Into the corner for Winchester. Will they get across? Oh, tough deflection. They clear it out again. Cleared. Wow. Ooh. Just wow. missed. Belmont a little lucky there. 100%. Again, Winchester has the bodies there. Bodies to the net. 100%. Goal kick. Winchester's got a 4 4 2 formation, it looks like right now. Looks like they're going to keep that. <coughs> Look a little more defensive right now, keeping all four backs back. All right, Belmont throw. Harris Hines, Hines the recipient, and quick defending from Winchester. One two from Win Winchester, quite good there. Again, it's just here they're playing a little bit of keep away, and they were able to recycle really it. recycle it back, fend Belmont Switch off, fields. create some space. Yeah, all so, nice job there by Santos to try to slow them down. All right, Winchester throw. Some subs by Winchester, taking some time off the clock. 12 minutes left in the game. 2 nothing. Throw on Winchester. Glavin on D. Yeah. Oof, nice quick, ball. Quick one, two. And right back to the outside for the overlap. And overlap. a beautiful cross. Well yeah. defended. Well defended. Who is that? In fact, Farrah Harris. Harris. Yeah, Farrah Harris. Nice right little. place. Excellent team. But once again, it just finds its the clearance, finds its way to a Winchester player. And right back in again. Well, ask a lot of your defense. You've got the entire uh, Belmont defense right now in a 10-yard. So even if we do gain control, there's, very, there's nobody to take it. As long as you call me. <laughs> a little harassment from the crowd. Okay, corner kick here from Winchester. Okay. Been working on this all game. Oh, play it short. Who's there? Winchester there first. First to it. Beautiful cross. Oh, wow. Belmont a little okay. lucky there again. Once again, Belmont caught ball watching. Yep. And it's like they almost feel that the, there's no way that ball's going to come in. But again, Winchester's winning every ball and getting to every ball and creating those opportunities. To be fair, the defense has been working hard all game. Played short to Waters. Waters does a nice oh, job a nice playing. Play. It. Now let's see if she can get some help. Again, Belmont ball. Nice throw. Nice Santos. throw. Santos. Santos cuts in, looking for help. Nice back check in there from Winchester to get back in. Just got help wide. Lucy Hines on D. Hines to cut that down. Back inside. And it's going to come back out into the corner. Yep. And it's going to find its way out of bounds for a goal kick for Belmont. Just over nine minutes left in the match. <clears throat> Looks like Lucy Cabral's gonna take it long. Winchester retreats. Glavin in two on one there. Clear it out, Mar Marinelle. She's trying to get a little separation from the defender. Yeah, she she made a little room for herself. Again, she the two players on her. There's two plays the on her, plays oh, up Lucy Hines. Lucy Hines. A little, little heavy, a little heavy, but nice idea. 
you know. That overlap's got to be a little bit quicker, and, and I'd like to see Lena make that pass a little bit sooner. Throwing Winchester. Tough step in. Turned over. Winchester ball. It's funny, now late in the game, we're starting to see them a little bit more east-west from Winchester, you know. They must be seeing something. Might be all that space. Well, the weak side of the field, the opposite side of the field is wide open. Yep, uh, they're seeing the space. That's, that's where the space is. Yep. Belmont's over collapsing a little bit. Throwing to Belmont to Hines. Hines, two defenders on her. And play it out again. Again, Harris for the throw. Okay, Belmont is going to break and get open for her. Bad throwing. Tough to say. Quick throw. Well, the ref called it. So yeah. Whether it was or not, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of a lucky. I'm not sure I would have called that if I was a ref, but I, yeah. he was a little closer. Okay, played through to Marinelle. Marinelle, once again, they collapse on her. Yep, they take it away. I'm trying to play the through ball and they get some speed in there. Demas, the nice play. 100%. Need to hurry if they want to get on the board. Play downfield. First two it again, Winchester to Hines. Hines back to Harris. And Winchester not hesitating again. Nope. Going, going, going right through the... Running right through, the, through the ball. Right through the ball. No hesitation. It seems to be a little bit, like I said, a little bit of hesitation in the Belmont game. Not sure. Maybe, this, maybe these passes are coming in now hard and fast and, and you try not to make a mistake so you just try to slow the game down but Winchester won't let you do that. Nice job by Hines. Good, good skill. Nice. Great skill from Hines. Beautiful touch. T touch and the half step. See if half step can get there and she does. Can she? Again. Again, no. no. Keep working. There you go. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's a little generous, that call. A little generous, that call, but... I'm not sure I would have made that call, No, but not at all. Uh, a little generous there, but oh well. I mean... You know what they... But I, you know, they've been pretty consistent this game. Yeah. It's really hard to get mad at them. No, I, think I haven't agreed with every decision they made, but by and large... Yep, no, the officiating's nice been pretty good. Right away by you. And just a collects at the 18. Locked out and cleared to Santos. I thought I heard a whistle, but. Me too. God, a lot of people seem to stop and looking on the field, but. Yeah. Didn't appear to be any official on this, on this field. There is a neighboring football practice going on. Throw in Belmont. Yeah, that's the football field yep. next door. Went just to throw. Coming to the five minute mark. Okay, it Kimberly's like coming on Kimberly's for Hines. Coming in for Hines, good. Good job from Lucy today. Yeah. Oh, Glavin overruns that one. But again, okay with that. In that situation, you know, moving towards the ball, trying to run through it, you know, the player's not gonna spin by you. Okay, Waters with the throw. To Zika, out of bounds. Quick throw by Belmont. Glavin steps in front. Yeah, Winchester maintains control, despite the despite the pressure. And there's a nice start, nice working draft. hard, and makes and creates a turnover right to Winchester player. Cleared by Waters, not about. Winchester throw. We're now on official time right now, folks. Shows five on the clock. And the officials are now running, and will be the ones calling the end of the game. Nice through ball nice. here it's from Winchester. Oh, good, good job. Little knocking. Good oh. job by Farrah. Beautiful, that one. beautiful good defense. Job, man. Yeah. No corner kick out to the outside. Exactly. 
from the weak side, by the way. She came all the way across the field to make that play. 100%. She followed up. She followed the play. She was right on top of it. Smart play. Yeah. Played on Winchester. The shot on net from distance. Ooh, did not miss by much. It's about 20, 30 yard shot out. Yeah. Okay, I mean, <clears throat> they got the space, they got the time, why not? All right. I'm all in, ball played in, Winchester first to it again. It's like wash, rinse, repeat. Yep. Played wide to Winchester, kind Here's, of all by herself. She's gonna got go from the time. corner. Quick cross in. Oh, oh, skips through. Skips through for Here another, comes a shot. another shot, up and over. Another shot. She had time, yep. just the player had some time there. Yep. Well, Belmont, you know, still 2 nothing. I'd love to see them see if they can quickly put up a goal here. Uh, again, I'm, I'd love to play short occasionally, uh, or we're just not winning these. Yeah. These balls. Let's just play it out. Turn maintains it. Keeps it in. Looking for Lena. Into, all right, into Marinelle. Marinelle looking, again, not a lot of time. Three players Three collapse players on her. Three players collapse on her. Oh, uh, to Santos. Santos keeps it. Yeah. Oh. And to, into Kimberly. She was into, able to intercept that. Look for the easy pass. Santos coming back for it. Does a nice job protecting it. Back to Kimberly. Back to Santos. Cuts him. There we go. There's Trying to get a it to beautiful Zika. We need ball. somebody Zika to the breaking. goal. Anybody going to goal? We need someone to the goal. And it plays out wide to Kimberly. And actually to you. And won by, again, the hesitation, it seems, as a Probably the word I want to use for Belmont today is, was hesitation. They just did not see a show of themselves. They seem to be hesitating and not taking command. Winchester maintains possession deep in the Belmont zone. Nice play by Glavin. Just yeah. stayed between her defender and the goal. Didn't let her by. No pass. Yeah. Throw in on the side. Throw in by Winchester. Cleared by Glavin, all right to Winchester player. This is when uh, the defense starts getting a little bit tired. They've been kind of under assault for a little while, and they just assault. start clear, clearing the zone. 100% have been assault most of the game. Yeah. That was a little bit of a handball there. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it was called. Okay. Again, he's been consistent. Ah, he's and, uh, been good. The hands out, the call goes. Yeah. Can't complain. Cabral with the kick. Trying to be clear there by Glavin. You, Santos, try to try to back pressure there, but Winchester was able to play it forward. Cable with the ball, D takes it out of bounds. Winchester throw. Yep. Clear by Waters. Santos. Santos takes it down. Still working. Still working hard. We'll say Winchester's playing quick too. They're not slowing the oh, game down. Not at They're all. still attacking. They're still coming. Not at all. They haven't altered their game plan one bit. Nope. There's a cross. Uh, no, that's Sarah you with the. And there's Marinell with a break. She's got two uh, players. Uh, okay, the goalie's about 40, 50 yards out of the net at the time. Where's the help? Yeah. Uh, Onto Zika. And that is the final whistle. The final whistle. I would have let that play continue. I would have, you would think they would have. Uh, that but that's it, folks. So. That's all, folks. Any more words of is that Bugs Bunny or Porky Pig? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I'm not 100% sure. I think it might be Bugs Bunny. But either way, <laughs> it's uh, the final is 2-0 Winchester over Belmont here at Harris Field in Belmont. Again, this was a, a you know an excellent, excellent Winchester team. A real opportunity to, for Belmont to see how they stack up, what they need to work on, where they need to go. I think you know Winchester plays the style that Coach Jemmy would like to see Belmont play, uh, and I, you know I think it's, it'll be a good opportunity for these kids to get out there and get a good understanding of, of how Coach Jemmy wants them to move the ball quick, north to south. Uh, and unfortunately, it didn't work out for Belmont this game, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anything, I think I think the one big takeaway from this whole thing is I think this is a real, a true test of, of the real quality in, in the league. You know, Winchester, Arlington, these teams are real quality teams. You look at how they played and how you did against them. And I think my, it's good to get Winchester out of the way early in the season here. They can kind of build from this. He has to build some confidence. He has to take that hesitation out of their game. 
Yeah. You know, he needs to kind of push to get these players to move to move forward and just to kind of play, play instinctually and, um, you know, just again, don't hesitate, run through players. Hopefully they'll learn from this Winchester film when they watch it and they'll see that from them. And um, it's a definitely a coachable moment for Coach Jemmy. Well, well, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you at the next game, which I believe is Belmont Soccer Night. Yeah, Soccer Night in Belmont this Saturday night against our crosstown rival Watertown. Boys game starts when? Your boys game, uh, uh, be here for 4.30 for the boys game, for the open ceremonies and so forth, and be here for 6.30 for the girls game. I mean, we're expecting a big night, great participation from the Belmont soccer community. Please come down and support your local teams, folks. Thank you so much for joining us and talk soon. Thank you.